Good afternoon guys, it's Thursday, tremendous Thursday, May 11th. I am working to see if my video, am I going to be able to continue a video here. Um, I've been having challenges because I was running out of space on my phone and so I emptied my space from my phone and I'll see if we can um, continue on here. Um, looks like I'm going to have to circle back around and to discuss wisdom next week with us, all right, with you guys. But um, today, it is uh, May 11th, so we're reading the 11th chapter of Proverbs, and it has really two takeaways in this particular chapter um, from two from two verses, all right? Um, Proverbs 11.3, okay? The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. Okay? And the summation from that, summarizing from, from the particular leadership Bible that I use, it says a leader's integrity, or lack of it, ob obviously affects others. This proverb, however, reminds us that it also affects its owner. If I can't have integrity for myself here, how am I going to expect other people to have integrity with me? If I'm not able to keep my own commitments to myself, how can I expect other people to keep their commitments to me as well, all right? At least that's how I'm interpreting it, okay? Next one here is um, verse 11, 14. For lack of guidance, a nation falls. But many advisors make victory sure, all right? And this is a skill for team building, okay? This is a team building skill. And the best way to have and keep good and trusted advisors is to recruit and develop them. Then create a team environment that legitim legitim legitimizes <laughs> and encourages their full function. All right? And see, and this is the thing, us as godly men, all right, followers of Christ and in, in leadership, these are, these are things that we need to do on a daily basis. To be able to make a strong impact in the lives and organizations that we that we come in contact with each day. Okay, so I hope you're having a great day today. A tremendously thankful Thursday. I am tremendously thankful because it's a choice that we all make. You know, God wakes us up, and it's us. It's up to us to make it a tremendous day. All right. So I'm Byron Watson, also known as Coach Life Pro, and I'm hoping you having a tremendous Thursday. And what we're doing here is just trying to uh, read. Um, daily Proverbs, right? Throughout the month of May, I'm going to be um, reading daily Proverbs with for you and with you. All right? Hope you're having, a, again, make today a tremendous Thursday, and I'll speak with you tomorrow.